right guys we're back with an exciting video so this week video is very special because this week is the first time we're doing a video at a subscriber request that's right this head head, head was brought to you from your suggestions in the comments today we're doing kettle chips and we've got three brands that we're gonna try head to head to figure out which brand of kettle chips we like best so, in this one, I'll be honest, I'm going to admit, I didn't know a lot about kettle chips. I uh, did some research, did some digging, tried to figure out what the, uh, the best brands were to do for this head-to-head -head and kind of give what people are eating. Um, the number one that I found was Kettle Brand Kettle Chips. A lot of people get excited about that. Um, and then... One that uh, is kind of a dark horse that a lot of people talk about is the Cape Cods. The Cape Cods are a verified non-GMO project. project. Uh, so are kettle chips. But the last one that we added was Lay's actually has a kettle chip line now. And um, yeah, all, all three of these bags sit squarely around $349 to $399. So pretty similar cost. Uh, we're going to test each chip by itself, and we're going to test it with some Tostitos Creamy Spinach Dip because a chip is only as good as it is to dip. Um, and then got some water to uh, cleanse the palate in between. So let's dive right into it. Uh, we're going to start with the Kettle brand. Now you'll know... Starting with sealed bags. I want these kettle chips fresh. I want them to... I don't want them getting stale at all. I want to be able to go through and have them as they were intended to be eaten. Alright. So, starting with the kettle chip brand. So, pretty crispy. It's actually a pretty thin kettle chip. Um, I was expecting something a little thicker. Could have been a fluke. We'll try a second chip. So I feel the kettle, the kettle brand is a pretty thin kettle chip, but overall it's tasty. It's not too oily. It has a nice uh, original salty flavor. The kettle chip is a fine kettle chip. We're going to give that kettle chip a 5 out of 5. Um... And now we're going to come over to the Lay's kettle chip. Uh, Lay's, obviously a big name in the potato chip game. So the Lay's kettle chip is a little thicker. Not a lot thicker, but a little thicker. A little more what I, per what I personally expected. From a kettle chip um the flavor not quite there not quite there for me um could be could be a little saltier still has that nice non-oily consistency but could be saltier but i do like the thick cut the the little thicker cut um Probably a 4.8, 4.8 out of a five. If if our kettle is the five point, or is the five out of five. And now moving over to the Cape Cod, the Cape Cod. Now heard a lot of things about the Cape Cod. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people coming out out the window saying that it's bar none the best, and people who don't acknowledge it are insane. Uh, why crazy claims being made online about the Cape Cod?
So I would say the Cape Cod has that nice thickness of the Lay's. But flavor-wise, it's got the nice sea salt of the kettle. So here's what I got to do. I got to take a sip of water, eat, eat each chip once with a nice cleansed palate. Kettle. Nice salty flavor. Lays. Nice crunchy texture. Cape Cod. Best of both worlds. Six out of five. In the straight kettle chip, the Cape Cod takes it. Cape Cod takes it. It is a clear, the internet is right. Uh, if you haven't tried some Cape Cods, you got to get out and try them. But uh, like we said before, a chip's only as good as it can dip. So let's try all these with the dip. Because uh, a dip's going to give you a slightly uh, different different flavor experience. Um, maybe you don't want something to be as salty when you're, you're adding it with the dip. Maybe you want the thinner chip. Maybe you want the thicker chip. So let's go back, starting with the kettle. Get a good, good amount of dip on there. So I, uh, I do like the texture of the thin chip with the dip. Uh, it's very easy to maneuver in your mouth. You don't feel like you're going to get a sharp chip anywhere as you're, as you're crunching. Nothing cut in the roof of your mouth, anything like that. Moving over to the Lay's. So after having a hard chip with the dip, uh, or a thicker chip, not necessarily hard, but a thicker chip compared to the thin chip, I would say the texture of the two does not make a large difference. Uh, but I would say flavor-wise, um, I do like having the salt. I do like having the salty flavor in addition. And last but not least, uh, the Cape Cod. So uh, even with the dip, the Cape Cod, the, uh, the texture's still great. The salty flavor mixes well with the creamy spinach dip. I think under both circumstances, it's, uh, it's pretty clear in my mind. Cape Cod, winner of this head-to-head. Thank you to uh, my good friend Sebastian for recommending this for a video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and let us know what you'd like to see next in the comments. Um, let me know your opinions on kettle chips if you have one you prefer. And with that, we'll see you next week.